This presentation is a part of a lecture series on the C++ programming language by Michael Adams at the University of Victoria in Victoria, Canada. For those of you who might be interested, a copy of the slides for this lecture series can be downloaded from the website whose URL is given at the bottom of this slide. In this section, I'm going to be talking about variable templates, where a variable template is a template used to generate a family of objects or variables. A variable template is simply a family of variables that are parameterized on one or more parameters. And these parameters can be of various different flavors. They can either be a non-type parameter, an in, such as an integral constant, like int or unsigned int, a type, which could be a built-in type or a class type, a template, or a parameter pack, in the case of variadic templates, which will be covered later. And although variable templates are used probably a little bit less frequently at least than function and class templates, they're quite useful in a number of situations. The syntax for a variable template is like what's shown here. Again, the template is always introduced by the template keyword, which is immediately followed by the parameter list for the template. And in the case of a variable template, this is followed by a variable declaration, which could be a declaration or definition of a variable. So I have an example at the bottom of the slide of a very simple variable template. We have a variable template that takes, takes a single type parameter. It's a type parameter because of the keyword class. So T is a type, which could be a built-in type or a class type. And then we have our actual variable definition here. We have a variable called meaning of life, and it's initialized to 42 converted to whatever T is. So we could create a meaning of life variable, which is associated with the parameter int. So we can plug in int for this parameter t here, in which case we would write a line of code which looks something like this. Meaning of life int, this is going to instantiate the meaning of life template for the particular parameter t being equal to int. On this slide I have a simple code example using a variable template, and in particular it's using a variable template for the mathematical constant pi. So if we look here we have the our variable template for the variable pi, pi. It's introduced by the template keyword, and the template takes a single parameter, which is a type parameter because of the keyword type name. We could also say class here as well, it would have the same meaning. So t is our type. And this variable is initialized to 3.1415 blah 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 blah, converted to type t. So we can create a, an int version of pi, or a float version of pi, or a double version of pi, and so on. And it's declared to be a constant expression because pi is unlikely to change, so it's known at compile time, so you might as well make it a constant expression. And we have some code down below that's making use of this variable template. Uh, we're doing some stuff with Cout just to initialize the uh, precision of numbers that are output, so we can see as many decimal places as possible. And then we print out the value of pi, but instantiated for various different type parameters. So here we're instantiating the pi variable template with the type int. So t is going to be set to int. And it, what this is going to print out is just 3, because when we convert this number here to an int, it's going to truncate. So basically all the digits after the decimal place are discarded, and this will just have the value 3. In the case of a float, this number here will be converted to float, and for double, long double, etc., this, this value here is going to be converted to each of those types. You can even do things, for example, like using the complex number type from the standard library, uh, instantiated on float double and long double, for example. So this will convert pi into a complex number where the real and imaginary part are represented by floats, and then print the result out, and so on. So this is just a simple example of using a variable template. 